it is a demo, so. Um, had a loose brace. Um, what, anyway, what does it sound like? It's tuned to open A. fun to this thing was just in uh, neglected very dusty dirty uh, somewhat unplayable condition there were has lots of little cracks most of them are cosmetic I filled every crack cleated the large cracks this is the original fretboard and it's from Hawaiian Teachers of Hollywood. Another series, because Hollywood is in a different script, a different font than the Hawaiian Teachers. Um, these, obviously, uh, somewhere in the process here, it's lost some of the... The fretboard is just a piece of basically fairly thick paper that's printed uh, and then glued to a piece of... Uh, it looks like birch, but it's really... Dark, maybe pear wood. Who knows? Anyway, uh, every fret has a number and the equivalent note that it makes if you fret it at that particular fret. Now, somewhere in here, there are teeny little fret markers that you can't even see. Um, trying to find your place on here is just like the, the lessons and the fretboard marking served a valuable purpose, which was to keep thousands of people from actually learning and playing the lap steel guitar. The people who persevered uh, probably didn't need all that to begin with. It just gets in the way, man. Anyway, I went to my cabinet. I found a maple fretboard, brand new maple fretboard that was the exact scale length and uh, width. This width is identical to this. Identical. And I didn't do anything, but you have to cut it off. This was a full, I cut off three frets to get the magic. Anyway, um, if you treat them like junk, you assume they're going to sound like junk. I've given this thing more respect than it's seen in its entire life. And it has responded. Um, it's like a three-quarter size Wiesenborn. Um, I'm thinking it's about mm, 95, 90 to 95 years old, 90, 25 to 1930, somewhere in there. It's made just like a Wiesenborn. It's truly hollow all the way up to here. This is a big chunk of wood. This chunk of wood was twice as thick and it had six pegs in it like out of a piano or an auto harp. I believe you could get this guitar for if you signed up for a year for a dollar a month you got the lessons and at the end of the year you probably own the guitar. It came with this uh, weird quasi resonator which was really like a toy a tin dish on a post. Well, it prevented working in there. It's BS anyway. Um, I took that out so I could work on the interior of the guitar and I made this new filler. Um, it looks old, but it is not, but it just came out perfect. Uh, it's been fun to do everything just fell in place.
stuff here so uh, new meets old mostly the strings are new and they're all settling into the new slots on the nut the strings brand new and heavier than the old one so I'm really running 12 to 54 to play in um, open A and it seems happy, a happy chappy. It's got a pickup, we'll play it through the pickup here in a while. than the sound now this um, the math I used to calculate the exact area needed to block the uh, sound hole was uh, it's fairly sophisticated it's the same math found on the uh, 
when they compute your bill at an Italian restaurant. I asked those people and they ran it through and said, do this. So we also got the super, uh, got the super S on there. Likes to play. Pushing a hundred. We're plugged into an amp. I think you might see the. There's the light. It's an Acoustasonic 90. It's a nice amps, class four amps. It's actually two uh, separate amps. And then up to 90. Anyway, it's plugged in. ceramic disc, size of a dime, a nickel. There's no ticky tacky. That sounds good. It's deep. It's responsive. And it sounds just like the guitar. I've been doing this kind of stuff since 1964. And I have learned some things. I know where to place it. You have, you can't place it on this wood. You've got to place it on the bridge plate. Anyway, it's getting late. I'm not going to play too loud. But the potential for this thing, I mean. Coffee and Tylenol. I think that's what this is.
Somebody's initials are somewhere back here, amongst the other things. Um, I've done a lot of work to it in a short amount of time, and uh, <clears throat> somebody should really end up liking this thing. <laughs> <laughs> 